أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي فالحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين ثم أما بعد السلام عليكم قرآن ويكلي Today with the 56th ayah of Surah Al-Ahzab, Surah number 33, I want to share with you yet another honor granted to our Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, which is unlike any other honor granted to any other human being. Allah Azza wa Jalla says, Inna Allah, no doubt about it, in fact Allah, as if the word Inna is used, they say in Arabic, Li izalat al-shak, to remove doubt. So in other words, what you're about to hear is so incredible, it's going to be hard to even believe how, how amazing this thing is. No doubt it is Allah in fact wa malaikatahu and his angels. Now how many angels are there? Subhanallah. For every human being there are at least how many angels? There's at least two on our shoulders, right? There's at least, at least two on the other side. So the entire population of humanity, the entire population of humanity is dwarfed by the population of the angels. And Allah says his angels. Now all of them are his. The entire legion of angels, all of them, they do the same thing. يُصَلُّونَ عَلَى النَّبِي They send prayers upon the Prophet ﷺ. You know, there's such a, when the Prophet does something and we do it, we say following the sunnah. When he prays a certain way and we pray, then we're following his sunnah. This act of saying sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the act of saying Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Ali Muhammad, this act is a sunnah not just of the Prophet, it's a sunnah of all of Allah's angels, and it's a sunnah of Allah Himself. Allah Himself does salawat upon the Prophet This act is not just an, uh, you know, a, an emulation of the prophetic behavior, it is actually a deed of Allah Himself. He Himself does salawat upon his, the Prophet Now he says, إِنَّ اللَّهَ وَمَلَائِكَتَهُ يُصَلُّونَ عَلَى النَّبِي He could have said, فَصَلُّوا عَلَيْهِ Therefore you also send salawat. He didn't say that. He said, Ya ayyuhal amanu. Those of you who believe, believe in who? Believe in Allah, believe in His angels, believe in His Prophet. Allah is saying, if you're, I'm, I'm challenging your faith. This is now a matter of your faith. <coughs> Can you imagine the one who created you, the one who gave you guidance does this? Are you doing it? Sallu alayhi, send salawat upon him. Kathiru min as salawat ala nabi. Make more and more salawat upon the Prophet ﷺ. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Ali Muhammad. Any opportunity you get, send salawat upon his Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa You know? I was actually pretty shocked. I was listening to a, a, a video. A sheikh was telling a story that his, uh, you know, he has lots of thousands of people that listen to his lectures and things like that. And a brother came up to him and said, my mother wants to talk to you. Uh, but she's in a village. And she's feeling sick. And he said, oh, well, my, among my students, there are a lot of uh, doctors, they can help. You know, she specifically said that she wants to talk to you. And he said, okay, I'll go see her. So he drives down to the village with him, several hour drive, and he goes to see this woman, and she's this old woman huddled up in a corner, maybe in her 90s. And she said, you know, Shaykh, I have a big problem, I need to speak to you about it. And he goes, what's the problem? She goes, I have not seen Rasulullah in my dream for the last week. It's been seven days almost, I have not seen Rasulullah in my dream. And the shaykh is like, wait, uh, you haven't seen him in your dream? Does that mean you see him regularly? She goes, yeah, I've been seeing him every night for the last 20 years. But the whole last week I haven't seen him. What's the, what have I done wrong? And the shaykh is himself just in complete shock, like the love this woman has. Every other word that comes out of her mouth, she does something, she sends salawat upon Rasulullah she makes a dua, she sends salawat upon Rasulullah The act of us connecting with Allah Azza wa Jal. We connect with Allah Azza wa Jal in our salah. We drop everything. And before we finish our prayers, what do we do? Allahumma salli ala Muhammad. The culmination of our prayer is upon salawat upon the Prophet It's an incredible deed. And when those, and it's a show of love to our Rasul Rasulullah And he will give the gift of his ru'ya in a dream. May Allah grant us the vision of Rasul Rasulullah in a dream. You know. To those who demonstrate that love, Allah says, Ya ayyuhalladina amanu, sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima. Not even sallimu. Sallimu means do sal- send salam upon him. Wa salamu alayka ayyuhal nabi. Sallimu tasliman. 
Tasliman suggests the quality of salam, meaning you're, you know, when we say in Arabic, Taslim is actually a kind of salutation or salute. And you know, there's a kind of lame salute. And there's like a salute, like a proper salute. When you're honoring the general, the commander, show the proper respect to your messenger when you send salawat upon him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. There's one thing you should never get lazy about is when you hear his name, alayhi salatu wa whether it's in a pronoun or his name perfectly or his, his calling him the Prophet, the Rasul. We hear those words, we say sallallahu alayhi wa sallam without fail. You don't get tired of it, don't get annoyed by it. Be grateful that Allah gave you the honor to fulfill one of his sunnahs by sending salawat upon his Nabi. Alayhi salatu was salam. May Allah Azza wa Jal give us the honor of his shafa'a on Yawm al-Qiyamah, his intercession on Yawm al-Qiyamah. And may Allah Azza wa Jal strengthen our love and our bond with his beloved messenger sallallahu alayhi wa with every passing breath. Barakallahu li wa lakum. Wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.